Hey, my name is Brian, and I'm a six-time cancer survivor, and, and I'm an Ironman triathlete. I uh, had my sixth tumor uh, last year and went through chemo and finished up in March. And So this year has been all about coming back to fitness level. But, and, and this is the only event I'm doing this year is Swim for Your Life with Eric Shento. And, uh, it's a big deal for me. It's very emotional. I've been waiting for this morning for a long time. Did it last year uh, with the tumor in me and uh, knowing what I had in store after the event. So uh, very, very excited to get out there. This means a lot to me. Um, my kids are doing it with me this year, which makes it uh, about eight times more special. So um, I really thank Eric and, and Lance and look forward to, to uh, swimming more events like this and, uh, and continuing the, the fight. Hey everyone and good morning. We're at Lake Lanier Resorts about an hour north of Atlanta, Georgia for a really special grassroots fundraising event. Olympian and testicular cancer survivor Eric Chanteau is putting on an open water swimming event, brought in some of his great friends and about 200 people that are here to go out and challenge themselves on the lake out here. It's just another great way of showing that you can take something you're really successful at and make it significant. So enjoy the day and think about it. What can you do in the fight against cancer that you're passionate about too? Check out what Eric and his friends are doing. I don't, and, and if you think about it, all of us have been touched by cancer, one way or another, if you think about it. Everybody knows somebody that's been touched by cancer. And that, I think that's one reason why I love to get inv uh, involved in events like this, because um, it's so widespread. It's something that just affects all of us. And, and when you're out there swimming, and the water might be a little chilly, but Eric says it's a, a crisp 71. So um, when you're out there, just be thinking why you're out there. The whole idea and the whole inspiration for this event um, came when I, I started working with the Lance Armstrong Foundation back in 2008, and I went to my first Live Strong Challenge, which is their bike race. And Lance started that about 15 years ago with some of his buddies racing around uh, Austin, and now that event has four stops around the country with 3,000 plus people competing in it. So my hope, my dream is to make this event pretty much like that in the swimming world. So that's kind of what we're hoping for. And you guys are, are a part of building that. So I hope you guys will come and join us in, in years to come. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I believe. Five, four, three, two, one. 193. 228. 206. 306. 207! 97! Uh, <laughs> 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 Alright Eric, you're, you're first across the line man, what do you think? I didn't get run down this year. <laughs> oh, that was great. The water was great. It's a great course out there. No, I did. So did. Yeah. Coming back is brutal against the wind. Like I said, it's so nice going out with the current and everything. It's totally different coming back. But that was great. I'm Janet Shanto. I'm Eric's mom. And when Eric was diagnosed with testicular cancer, the Armstrong Army just came together and scooped him up and embraced him and helped him live his Olympic dream in Beijing and has continued to take care of him um, and support him. And we are so proud of Eric uh, to be able to give back uh, when they were supporting him. This event has doubled this year and we hope to get it to be a thousand is the goal. To have a thousand swimmers is the eventual goal. So thank you so much. Uh, live strong for supporting this wonderful cause uh, and let's get rid of this horrible horrible disease.